doing things that they told me I should never do. I've been doing things that they told me I could never do. Now, never do, I could never do. I've been looking back and I'm the only one who ever knew. My dreams began to turn out. I told them it's my turn out. They in the club and I'm in the studio. Guess they gonna learn now. Told myself I want it all, gotta get it all. Never gonna burn out. I've been busy working, you busy flirting. Guess you get what you deserve now. Whoa. Yo, what is up, Loud and Proud Crowd? Hopefully you guys are doing absolutely amazing. I am sipping on a cup of coffee because I'm very, very tired right now. It was my birthday yesterday, so I, uh, I, uh, you know, had a, had a, had a decent day. And, uh, I, I just felt like I had to make another video for you guys. So I wasn't going to make one right now because I, um, was going to plan some other things out and have some other big reveal stuff for you guys before my next video so I could kind of share some other things with you in addition to what I have today. But I figured, you know what, it's been a few days. They're probably wondering what the heck the dude buys a truck, you know, a brand new 2018 pickup, a Longhorn in, he doesn't make a video the next day. Like, what the heck? You know, like, you know, loud and proud that we knew 18 months ago, 19 months ago, uh, if you bought a new truck, it was a video every single day, even though it was an old rusty Dodge, there was always something to film, you know what I mean? And so um, it's just things have changed, just lots of different stuff happening, so it's kind of hard to keep up with everything. But I wanted to go through a list of the top five things that I like most about driving my brand new 2018 Laramie Longhorn 3500 pickup truck. So here's here's a small little list of five things I got. Now obviously there are way more things that I like about this truck because I didn't buy this truck just because of, you know, remote start um, and a few other things. But these are just some of the top things that I like about it and I'll tell you why I like them. Uh, but of course I love the truck. I love the front end. It was something that I didn't really think I was going to like until I got one, copy break. Um, the front end on this truck, I didn't think I was gonna like quite as much until I saw it in person. I looked at pictures online and I'm like, I don't like those front ends, like, I just don't like them. Um, and then I saw this truck in person and I was like, I gotta have that truck. I just, I love the look of that truck. In person, it's so much different than all the commercials and stuff online. I don't know why, even in this video, you're probably thinking it looks a little bit funny. They really do look really, really good and I, I really do love the truck all the way around. I don't really have too many things about it that I don't like. I actually like the wheel and tire setup that's on it. It's not too aggressive, but it's just enough to give it a little bit of a decent look to it in terms of stance. The black paint on this truck looks absolutely fantastic. The cab lights, the chrome on the mirrors, but the black main part of the mirror, like it's just all the small things, the interior, the brown saddle leather looking interior, like really, really cool. I really just love, there's not much I don't like about this truck and you would hope not if you go out and buy a brand new truck, there better not be too many things you don't like about it. So all that aside, let's get into the top five things that I do love about it in addition to just all the other stuff I clearly love about the truck. There's a, there's a whole bunch of stuff I love about it. I'm just going through the top five things that I use the most and that are to me compared to what I used to drive, which was nothing newer than 2000, um, compared to all the, the older Dodge stuff that I've always driven. You know, I have two 91 first gens, one's a five speed, one's a three speed automatic. Um, we have the five, the 96 five speed 12 valve dually, and we also had the big stinky, which was an automatic, a 97, um, and I also had another 96 12 valve. So I've owned a lot of 12 valves. Um, I, just, I just like the older trucks. I still love the older trucks. Just because I bought this one doesn't mean I don't like the older ones and I'll never go back to them. I love them. I'll probably always still have an older truck around or two or 10. Um, but I just I just wanted to have something a little bit different, change things up, bring a different vehicle to the channel. That's still very relevant to what I've been working on, but a big change, like a huge change in terms of what generation of vehicle I'm working on. Coffee break. Let's get to the top five things. Thing number one that I love about this truck, especially this morning when it was 34 out uh, before church, remote start, not just remote start, remote start with auto defrost front and rear turned on, auto heating of the mirrors, and also automatically under a certain temperature, I don't know if you can choose the temps or not as to when you want the stuff to come on or off or not come on at all, but automatically turns on your heated steering wheel, yes, heated steering wheel, and heated front driver's seat. It automatically kicks that stuff on if it's under a certain temperature, and it is amazing. Like when you get in the truck, it's nice and warm, your stuff's all turned on, the whole cab, the steering wheel, everything is warmed up to like that 78 degrees that I have it set at that I just like. It's freaking nice, and I just really love that. Now my dad has remote start on his King Ranch, and we've had a lot of remote start vehicles, but one that actually heated everything up to your desired temperatures and your last known settings on the vehicle, 
uh, your comfort settings, that's pretty freaking cool. Um, you know, to most guys, are probably like, dude, who who freaking needs heated seats and heated steering wheel? I, I know, dude. I, I I was the same exact person um, as the people that would make that comment that said, who needs any of that stuff? Which you don't need it, but it's just cool. And for comfort features, if you're gonna spend this much money on a truck, it's kind of nice to have. And and I really do actually like that kind of thing. Actually having cruise control. Now, before anybody says, oh well, you know, some versions had cruise control. Neither of mine did. Um, neither of my 91s did. And then your second gen should have all had cruise control. They all technically had it from factory. None of them work. Hardly any of them. I mean, there are some out there that work, you know, whatever, but just hardly any of them work. And none of mine did. So um, it was totally different experience driving this the last several hundred miles. I think I've got almost a thousand miles on this thing already, believe it or not, since I bought it, you know, almost a week ago. Um, it, it's so nice going down the highway, going 75, just cruising, just sitting back, not having to worry about throttle and maintain the right speed so people aren't getting mad at me on the highway for slowly losing speed or going too fast and all that stuff. Like, Cause I, I hate it when people can't maintain speed. And when I was like always trying to do that, it was like just annoying. Now, is it something you need? No, you don't need cruise control. Nobody had it for years and years and years. Um, but it is nice to actually be able to have it and have it working. So that's something I really do admire about the truck. Um, very, very small, simple thing every vehicle has nowadays, but for not having it and now having it, it's really freaking nice. Just little things. Uh, you know, the sound system in this truck, and I know I'm naming small, more frivolous things that most vehicles just have nice already. Doesn't matter if you buy a super nice model or the lowest end model. Most all of them have these things in terms of like sound system and cruise control, stuff like that. But these are things that I'm not used to having that actually work really well. Um, Nasty Red sound system, the speakers work, but the radio never worked. And then for whatever reason, could just be simple fuses or stuff like that, but it just never worked. My first gens, neither of them have a sound system. Both of them don't even have a radio in the dash. The Dually is the only one that does have one, but it's the original speakers and all that stuff, which I could have changed. I just never got around to it because I was doing other, other things. They just none of them had a really good sound system, sound system, except for Big Stinky back when I had that truck. That truck had a really good sound system in it, but other than that, none of them did. So a good sound system with a really good bass, really good audio, it sounds awesome. This is an Alpine stereo system in this truck, and it sounds awesome. So if you like music, it sounds really, really good in this thing. And one of my favorite things about this is the ability to search anything on the navigation system on this truck. Now, my dad's King Ranch has navigation, his 2013, but it's not, it's not as responsive and it's not quite as user friendly, if that's a good term for it. He'll know what I'm talking about if he sees this video. It's just not quite as responsive. Like with this system, some people might disagree that have had a lot of really, really, really nice vehicles. But for me at least, I've used a few. We had a Lincoln, a 2011 Lincoln a little while ago and we had a, you know, my dad's King Ranch. And I've kind of messed with them when I've been in the vehicles a couple times. But they were always like button, 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 like just waiting for stuff to load and catch up to speed and actually type out. So it was always just a little bit annoying that you couldn't just type almost like you would just on like a tablet or you know your phone just like click 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 you know whatever this one you can actually do that and at least for me so far it's been very very responsive and it's been very very snappy and i really like that so like for example i was out with my aunt looking at a property yes i'm looking at some property land and houses and stuff like that because i need to get my own shop get my own stuff and get on out of here because my operation is getting a little bit too big for staying here right now and I just need to get out anyways and venture on my own way to bigger and greater things. We're out in the middle of nowhere, which is where I'm gonna be living, out in the middle of nowhere, nobody around. My phone had no service, right? So there's no service on my phone and I'm like, okay, uh, this sucks. Like, uh, I can't search anything, what's going on? Like, just kind of like, great, you know what I mean? Like one of those situations where you don't know where you're at, really, because you don't really know the certain area awesome yet. Not far from an area that I really knew, but just about two miles in and I couldn't look anything up. I didn't know which road to take and all this other stuff. I was like, oh wait, I have this truck. So I'm on my phone and searching. I'm like, I have no service. It says no service, no service, whatever. And my aunt was like, well, you got this new truck with navigation. Like it's got to work, you know? So I'm like, oh wait, yeah. So I just clicked search and I just searched the nearest destination to where I was trying to go. So I just typed, typed in the name of a restaurant. I'm like, click, 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 you know, whatever. Typed in super fast in the search bar and then it pops up with all the relevant searches or next best thing to that result and you just click on it and it'll send you right to that spot. So that's 
really cool because I didn't have any service and I just typed it in on the GPS on the truck and it just super responsive loaded immediately and got me right to where I was going. Really, really cool. Now, like I said, we've had other vehicles with this same feature, but they're all just a little bit laggy, a little bit not so responsive and you can update them and stuff. We just, who really does that? Unless they only get their stuff done by the dealership, that of which they bought their vehicle from, which we don't. Um, and so it, it was just one of those things towards like, uh, that was nice to have because I'm over there trying to find reception and all I could do is just type it in on my on my truck like it was a Google search and then just ping popped up, click, destination found, went on my way um, in an area with no, no reception, so that was really cool. The number one thing that I love about this truck and you would, you would think this would be pretty high up on the list, just the drivability of this beast. This is a big truck. It's a Ram 3500, you guys, you guys know that by now, but it's the mega cab model. Now it's not a long bed, that would be the, the real behemoth of the trucks that you have options from, but it is the mega cab version and it is huge. I don't know how much justice you guys are really getting from the view of this truck, but let me go stand by it. Um, it, it, I mean, the thing is freaking huge. So to, to actually have a truck that drives really good that's this size, now obviously nowadays most trucks drive pretty nice. Now obviously it's not a car, you can't fly into corners stuff, but the truck handles really nice. Get up and go, acceleration is snappy. Um, I haven't had anything to complain about this. Now, like I said, I'm used to driving old 12 valves and they're not really the fastest thing. I mean, ours are, some of ours are pretty quick now, but they're not really the fastest thing from the factory and these are what? 800 foot pounds of torque, I think, and 400 horsepower, give or take. I, I'm not even exactly sure. I'm not really, you know, super technical on the numbers or that kind of stuff. I used to know them all right off the top of my head, but um, I think it's, I think give or take 400 horse and 800 foot pounds of torque right off the line. And you definitely notice that. Like, it, it is very responsive and it runs really, really good. Um, and I am just more than, more than happy with the way this thing drives for being the size that it is. The get up and go is really good. The drivability and just handling day to day, the last week I've been driving it, super nice. You don't feel like, oh, you can't fit in parking spots, you can't maneuver it. I mean, I'm used to driving a big, you know, Ram 3500, uh, five speed dually, 12 valve. So to me, it's not really too much different, um, but it's just, you would think for a big truck like this, like that's gonna be fun, great. You know what I mean? Like handling around, but it drives really nice. It just drives like a Cadillac Escalade. You know what I mean? Like in terms, not as soft as that in terms of drivability, but um, it handles like a car. You know what I mean? Like there's nothing really like straining about driving it day to day or anything really annoying about it. It really is pretty comfortable to drive, very driver friendly. Those are my top things that I love about the truck in the past week. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot more that I find out that I just really come to love about the truck and there really is just a lot, a lot that I really, really like about it. Those are just the top things that have really stood out to me compared to what I've been used to driving my other vehicles that have about 20 more years worth of age on them. You guys are absolutely awesome, taking everything to a whole new level. Hopefully within the next few months you guys see a lot more change coming to um, loud and proud, Team l &P, all that stuff. We've got a lot of cool stuff happening. Like I said, I'm looking for places um, to get my own shop, my own house, my own property, all that stuff. Um, work in working on, you know, you know, new merch stuff and new drops and uh, just a bunch of bunch of new stuff is in the works. And that's kind of where a lot of my time is going to is prepping for the next big thing. And um, I feel like you guys are going to be pretty excited when you see what we have coming on next. And we've got a, we've got a handful of things we're getting ready to launch. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are stopping in for the first time, don't forget to leave a like on this video. Leave your comments down below. Subscribe if you are new. Join the team, join the family, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.